since officials identified the first cases of the coronavirus in Wuhan, China, they knew that this virus mainly impacted the lungs. After all, the way they realized something strange was happening was a bunch of patients went to the hospital in China with pneumonia-like symptoms. But as time went on, doctors began to realize that the coronavirus doesn't just impact the lungs sometimes, but it can also impact other organs, including the heart and the liver. It's not totally surprising, as many viruses are known to impact multiple organs. And this virus is brand new, so we don't really have much immunity or any immunity to it at all. So how does this work? The coronavirus enters the body through the mouth or the nose, and it travels down to the lungs, where it latches onto cells there through a receptor called ACE2. It turns out these ACE2 receptors aren't just present on the lungs, but in other organs, such as the heart, as well. In severe cases, doctors have reported patients developing heart damage. This is either the result of the viruses directly attacking the heart tissue, or the response of the immune system kind of going haywire and sending a bunch of immune system cells in sort of the storm that d damages tissues. The loss of smell and taste have also been reported as possible symptoms of the coronavirus, which might suggest that the coronavirus can also impact the nervous system. But it's not all bad news. Much of this organ damage happens in very severe patients. And even in those severe patients, a lot of the organ damage isn't permanent, one ER doctor told us. And if these people survive the infection, their organs will typically bounce back to normal.